Hello everyone, welcome back. We are back to doing field work, as you can see. This is gonna be our pumpkin patch. Uh, get a good idea of the size of it. But uh, we picked this property up kinda late in the season. And it was it looked like that yesterday. And I came in here and bush hogged it off. And what I'm doing now, we don't have time to moorboard ply it and till it up properly and all that good jazz. So what I'm doing right now is uh, I bush hogged it off, but you still have quite a bit of residue left on the field. You can see there's weeds and stuff, uh, corn stubble, various other things. So what I'm doing, I'm just running the disc over it and trying to chop it up. And what we'll do from there is uh, we'll take the nine tooth field cultivator and rip it. And then we will apply our fertilize, granular fertilize, incorporate it in probably with the nine tooth or maybe even the disc. And, uh, and then we'll come in and plant the pumpkins and use uh, both a pre and post emergent herbicide on it. Uh, we'll use uh, post emergent to kill any leftover residue and uh, then a pre emergent to keep, keep the pumpkins clean the rest of the year. Now, the reason I am running the disc over it is try to chop as much of that up as I can so it doesn't ball up the uh, nine tooth or the field cultivator. So that's what we're into today. The ground looks good, it's, it's a good looking piece of ground. Never farmed it before. But uh, this is a piece of ground that we picked. Didn't pick it up that late. It's just that uh, we never got the opportunity to get it tilled. So, uh, you know, it was just one of those deals. But we'll take you along, show you what we're doing.
midway on this. Uh, it's cutting up pretty good. Of course, it won't be, you know, nothing special by the time we get done with it, but for our purposes, it'll work. Uh, I guess you would call this non-conventional village. But uh, what we're going to try to do is get this done, and then I'm going to try to get some fertilizer out and incorporate it on about two acres of ground so it'll be ready for to put down the plastic mulch. Uh, that's kind of our plan for this afternoon. We'll see how far along we get on it. Uh, still got some more hay to cut. Looking at the weather forecast, we may mow it in the next couple of days. Uh, actually, for the past week, we've been very dry. And uh, I'm not complaining about the weather. The weather will be what the weather will be. But, uh, you know, it's been pretty dry. So, uh, my farming partner is transplanting cabbage and broccoli. That's what he's been up to. And uh, they're getting more of that in the ground while I'm trying to stay ahead of them with ground prep, basically. Uh, not that they're, well, yeah, they are starting to gain on me a little bit. That's one reason I gotta get the plastic mulch down. So, uh, but we're, uh, if we can have good luck, keep going for another week or so we uh we'll be in pretty good shape i would like to get the rest of the first cutting hay up it's uh starting to hurt uh, it's the big field about 20 acres thereabouts i would like to get it down and up and get that off my mind but anyhow the way we're uh the way I'm doing this is I kind of started in the middle. And what I do, I go across the middle and then I'll go down a little ways and I'll go across again. And then that way I'm pretty much just making a quick turn. I don't want to drive too far on the ends and I don't want it so quick that I have to back up and stuff. And then I'll cut it back and forth all the way up through here. <coughs> I'll keep doing that and I get each section done then I'll uh, uh, then I'll go around the edges and clean up. There's no reason, reason to go around the edges to begin with then just compact it back together. So that's kind of my thinking on that. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. And they don't always run true, but it don't really matter. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. You can see they're a little strip tilled here and as I go out here and I turn up the end there's a strip that's not tilled right there. Uh, of course I'm getting to the edge down here now but uh, what I'll do I'll till this then go down about where those big weeds are and come through with another till and you know, just make little blocks out of it. It seems to work the best in a field like that. Uh, a lot of times where people make a mistake when tilling, they try to do it the same way in every field. And basically what you got to do is uh, work with what you got. Till it however the ground lays, you know, you've got to work within the boundaries of the piece of ground you're working on. So, but that's what we're doing. Uh, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe to us. Uh, if you have subscribed, we appreciate it. We thank you. If uh, it's a video you like, please comment. Let us know one way or the other. And we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good evening. Bye.